Okay, Celtics survive a tough game, down 10 at halftime. They come back to win a really tough game, close game too. And uh, Kyrie Irving in the clutch down the stretch for the most part, although we did have a turnover and missed a three. Anyway, he was he was just fine. He was awesome. He was clutch, putting the game away. And Jason Tatum showing more and more confidence and shooting earlier. So what we're starting to see lately is he gets a lot of first half points and then doesn't necessarily get a lot of points and a lot of shots in the second half. But uh, he had a big third quarter and I just love what I'm seeing and he's getting more and more confident. I think as long as we're patient and and Brad doesn't try to rush him too much, you know, he's just going to slowly, slowly creep up. And like by the end of the year, he's going to be looking like prime Paul Pierce, you know, 25, 30 points, just like nothing, 20 points consistently, things like that. You know, Jalen Brown's coming back and he's probably going to uh, get it together. But um, Jason Tatum, he's just slowly and steadily getting better and better and better and shooting a little more. And uh, it's just wonderful. Al Horford, a really rock solid game, almost a triple double, two assists and two rebounds short. Also had two blocks and th- three blocks and two steals. So uh, Marcus Smart couldn't air ball, and then he had another way off shot. Just terrible. The only basket he made was a wide open layup. But whatever. He filled in and started, and everything was fine. So we were really lucky that uh, there was no catastrophe because Jalen Brown and Marcus Morris were not playing. The bench I was petrified about, and in the first half they were terrible couldn't put the ball in the basket that's why we ended up down 10 points at halftime because we lost the second quarter by eight points and they just couldn't put the ball in the hoop so uh, I just hope we're not too this shorthanded regularly because unless we're playing a team like the Mavs or something guys uh, and we can't expect Shane Larkin to make three threes like that we can't expect Abdul Nader to come in and knock down a three uh, you know, Yabaselli knocking down a three. It was awesome. Great to see, but we just can't expect this sort of thing. So uh, Daniel Tice with a really big game that we really needed. 11 rebounds, two steals, seven points, two assists, one block. Stuff in the stat sheet. Uh, and so a couple really good dunks in the second half. But anyway, guys, just a quick update on the Celtics game tonight against the Mavs. Uh, Tatum slowly getting better. Kyrie right in his prime and uh, everybody else just doing a good enough job to keep these wins coming. I think that's like three or four in a row now, Uh, but I'll see you soon. Peace.